So, I want to talk about some of these shows that are like uh, plagiarized to another show. And one of that show is called Teen Titans Go. I used to like this show, but not anymore. I was hypnotized for five years. And DC Comics and Warner Brothers, if you I recommend you watch this because this is important. I, I need to tell you about the facts that about Teen Titans Go. So, Teen Titans Go is the Titans go on adventures. But they become more nonsense, you see. Every season they get nonsense and nonsense. And that's why older people hate it. Younger people like it, but older, no. They hate it. And What's you you don't know the truth, but without a receipt, the writers of Teen Titans Go has plagiarized Teen Titans, the original series. I never see their names in the um original Teen Titans credits. Michael and Aaron are not in the Teen Titans credits. And who treats their leaders There's with nonsense. Leaders deserve respect, not nonsense. And also, cyborgs pe becoming too non be noticeable. Whenever I sc scroll down and a Teen Titans Go image pops up. Cyborg is the number one that is not noticeable. Noticeable. Yeah, Cyborg is noticeable. And it's getting too much. I have nightmares of that show. And if I asked, if I asked my friends if they like Teen Titans Go, they would say no. Some would say yes, but the friends with that I had that has more sense, they would say no. They would not like Teen Titans Go because. Who creates superhero with nonsense actions? Another thing, copyright is illegal. And, and what Michael and Aaron did, they took up and plagiarized Teen Titans and they took someone else's work. Glenn Murakami would be very mad if she sees that. In conclusion, in conclusion, Teen Titans Go's existence is a violation to the copyright law. So, 
Hashtag Sue Teen Titans Go.